The Nintendo Switch launches on Friday, and this Nintendo fanboy ain't excited at all. So each day leading up to the Switch's launch, I'm taking a look back at one of Nintendo's earlier home console launches to see how I felt about that one. Yesterday I reminisced about the Nintendo 64, today it's the GameCube's turn. By the time the GameCube rolled around, the internet had become mainstream enough that even I had access to it. As such, I was super duper aware of the system, its capabilities, its potential, and its games lineup. While the GameCube wasn't the revolutionary jump that the N64 was, it did introduce what I would consider the best controller ever, if not for two head-scratchingly dumb decisions, an unnecessarily small D-pad and a poorly positioned Z-button with no counterpart on the other side. C'est la vie. Breaking from tradition, the GameCube did not launch with a Mario game. Instead, Luigi took the spotlight in the relatively short but massively entertaining Luigi's Mansion. Seriously, this game was so much fun that many gamers didn't appreciate all the amazing technical things it was doing at the time. Oh, but they noticed the amazing technical things Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 was doing. Holy crap, but that game looked amazing for the time. You thought the Hoth battle in the N64 Shadows of the Empire brought you into the movie? Hoo <laughs> boy, were you in for a treat. As it happened, most of the GameCube's launch titles hit store shelves about two weeks before the console did. So, I bought Luigi's Mansion and Rogue Squadron well before I had a system to play them on and filled time by reading their instruction manuals over and over. Soon, soon, I'd actually be playing the games. Was I excited for the launch of the GameCube? Oh, yeah. Unable to secure a unit before launch, I headed down to a local Walmart for its midnight launch event. They had 64 units, 32 black and 32 purple. I was number 33 in line. Every single person in front of me picked a black unit. I didn't want a purple GameCube, so I left. I went to a Kmart and sat in the electronics department for five hours until they opened that morning and I could buy a black GameCube. I even got an inflatable GameCube chair for my trouble. I went home and despite the fact that I was running on no sleep, I hooked up my new console and played for a few hours. The GameCube ultimately didn't sell that well, but it's host to a ton of absolutely phenomenal, classic, must-play games, and I was more than happy to stand in line all night for it. The Wii, on the other hand? Well, that's a story for tomorrow.